come to the green side. <laughs> be -de -be -de -be -be -de -be. Hi guys, it's Dylan for Dylan's Vegan Experiment and it is day six. How y'all doing? So I'm doing good, my shoulders. I was noticing in the video the other day that actually they're more uneven than they were before I went to the chiropractor. So all I can assume is, because this is the one that he worked on, so I'll have a look at the video later and see. But if that one's lower than that one, this is the one that he says is now tight, and that one's totally relaxed. We need to get this one released. So I'll have a look. You tell me what you think. I think I can actually see it there. That is lower, isn't it? Huh. So we've still got a bit of work to do to get that one released. Any diddly who's. So I just wanted to quickly touch base with you. Tomorrow I'm going to do a roundup of the week and how it all went. But today was Saturday night. And what happens on Saturday night? Jambles, that's my wife and my son, tend to have something a bit naughty. Or we all do. Um, and this is when they kind of go vegetarian. So they end up having um, a pizza with cheese on it. But there's a, a little revelation at the end of this. So I'll go into that in a second. This is very cool. I know maybe we, we might have different opinions on this, but I don't feel I should push a vegan diet on my son. I think... I've made him aware that meat is dead animals and that dairy isn't good for you. Um, but before I even told him that dairy wasn't good for him, I'm lactose intolerant and my son has the same body shape as I do. And it's really interesting, a long time ago, he kind of went, don't really want any milk, don't really want any dairy, but I've not pushed it at all. Cool, I've just gone, once he's said himself, I don't like dairy, it doesn't make me feel well, Daddy. I've gone, and don't forget, I mean, when he said that, he was about, what, four, four, five, something like that. So I'd never said anything about milk. I've only ever mentioned meat and said that meat um, is dead animals. Because very early on, he said he liked how much he loved animals. You know, he's always cuddling teddies and stuff, and, oh, sheep and things like that, when you see him out. And I was like... Yeah, and when we go into the supermarket, and um, initially when he wanted sausages and things, because our childminder was giving them to him and things, um, he would kind of be like, uh, oh, sausages. And I'll go, yeah, yeah, you can have them if you want, but don't forget that is a dead animal, and an animal died for that. So I'm not freaking the dude out, I'm just being honest, because I think there's a real disconnect between meat and the animal. And I think he has a right to know that it was an animal. And that really kind of took the edge off. And he would regularly, if I went, well, do you want sausages? He would kind of go, no, no. And he'd be, he'd be like, no, animals are my friends. I don't, I don't want to kill them. So that's where we got with that. But every now and then he wants a pizza. So that's a long story. I was only going to make it short. Um, so every now and then he wants a pizza. So tonight he wanted pizza. So I got him pizza. So although I don't do dairy and meat and stuff anymore, I'm the cook in the house, so I had to cook up the pizza. So it's sat there in front of me and I'm, I'm hungry, right? So I'm not carved up and I'm hungry and I'm thinking, oh mate, just one bite, but part of me is going, oh mate, no, don't, that, that's, that's really gross, you know you don't like it, oh, but look at it, and it's just dripping off the thing. You know, the texture of cheese, it's all this oily, fatty stuff. Oily, fatty stuff is my point. I thought, fat, that's what I need. So I grabbed hold of me nuts, a bag of nuts. <laughs> Comedy timing, you like it, yeah? Yeah, you, I know what you were thinking. Yeah, I, <laughs> a bag of um, monkey nuts. <laughs> <laughs> a bag of money, monkey nuts. I grabbed a hold of a bag of those and just chammed down a load of those. And within no time at all, that fat craving was sated and I looked at the cheesy pizza and I wasn't interested at all. How cool is that? Cool. So that's what I wanted to share. But also, here's a really cool bit. Schmooster turned around and went, when I said I wanted pizza, Daddy, I wanted a vegan pizza because I don't like cheese. Check it out. How cool is that? 
So, um, you know, that's on off his own back. And next time we will be having vegan pizzas. Check it out. Anyway, this is day six. Um, apart from that, which was a little hard, um, but like I say, I dealt with it by having loads of fat. Best to have healthy fats that are vegan based rather than worrying about having too many fats, have no fats and then fall off the bandwagon because your body is gagging, screaming for fats. Cool? So this is Dylan for Dylan's Vegan Experiment. I'd love to know your comments or if you've been in any situations like this yourself and what you did to sort it out. Catch you later. Bye.